Um, I just answered a question in the, in the chat. <laughs> it was about MMOs. I didn't want to trigger you. Um, so yeah, I'm sorry. I, I'm never going to answer MMO questions because I, 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 <laughs> I might have I might have a giant video rant one day that lasts 20 minutes about why I think asking, even mentioning the word MMO in Unity is a bad idea. But until that day, I'm sorry. I'm never going to answer MMO questions. <laughs> but uh... Uh, well, you know, I, I can't help it because the, the chat's still talking about MMOs. I'm going to go on one last little bit. All right, all right, all right. So, so, <laughs> so my first bit was to say why I don't think you should make one because most, to be honest, you probably don't have the experience. I don't have the experience to make an MMO, and I've been doing this for a relatively long time. I would never suggest someone start by making an MMO, even if you did, even if you decided, okay, I have the experience, I'm going to make an MMO. Let's talk realistic numbers here. People, people don't realize that. Think about what an MMO is, right? An MMO is a investment game. By nature, it's a game where you have to sit in it, spend time, and you're, you're looking to build a player base of consistent users. So you're not just competing against, it's like the mobile market, right? You're not just competing against a number of games that are in a similar space. Your game is only successful when you've got buy-in from a large collection of users. So if you're building a game that's multiplayer mostly only to work, and you're building a game that requires you to have a large, massively multiplayer in the title world, your game will be a failure if it isn't massively multiplayer, which means you are competing against everyone else who's trying to monopolize your time. And here's the thing. If you think you can do it, that's impressive. But think about the fact that Destiny as a game can't even do it. Destiny is competing against every other multiplayer online game like Division 2. These are huge corporations with a lot of money, and they cannot compete with each other because realistically people have only a set amount of hours per day, and they're going to spend their time on the game they like the most. If you're putting yourself inside of that space you're making a game where you are trying to compete with people's time you're not making it like in, in any game people can play for a few hours and enjoy it if you're making an mmo your game is only a success if people play it consistently and make it their main game that's the nature of what it is and you are up against every single one of them you're up against the division you're up against um, again even overwatch all of these kinds of games so you need to have a consistently large user base there's the the assets the, the steam store is littered with multiplayer shooters that are dead on arrival because their multiplayer online has less than three or four people in it. You cannot play a multiplayer shooter game if you've played a multiplayer 10, 10, 10 versus 10 team game and you can only get two or three people on your team. You don't need two or three people. You need to have thousands for your game to functionally be successful. So it, I'm not saying never make an MMO. I mean, if you have a big team and you have resources and you have funding and you have stuff, you can do it. But anybody who thinks they can do it with a team of less than... 50 people and with an experienced set of even still having to learn network code each one of those things is a 10-year profession to learn how to do so not even is it really hard to make even if you make it you have a such a high barrier to even consider it being a successful project compare all of this to making a fun uh mobile game that takes you two months and has massive investment the the last thing i'll say on this is look at flappy bird flappy bird is this everyone talks about it as a success story it makes tons of money it's a really small game he made like 20 games before that, and each one of his games took him less than three weeks to a month to make. His goal was make a lot of games for fun, and eventually one of them just happened to hit hit it big. If you spend five years building an MMO, investing all of your time and resources, and you don't have that much, you don't have as much money as Blizzard, and you don't have as much money as all of these Activision or other companies, you're going to have to comp compete against them for the same audience, and it's just not going to be at that same scale. It's insanity, and and you have to hit lucky once. That's like going to, that's like going gambling and playing only once. You know, you're rolling dice once and hoping you hit exactly the number you want. Versus make a bunch of small games, roll the dice fifty times, and you'll eventually get a good success. Because if you talk to any professional, whether you're talking to comedians or you're talking to uh, book writers, they will tell you the projects they put the most time and effort into are not the things people latch onto. It's they don't know what's going to be successful. It's going to be some random video you made that you didn't really care about too much, or it's going to be some random song you wrote, because you don't know, you don't choose what's successful. And if you decide to put all of your eggs in one basket, you're going to end up ruining yourself. You're going to spend all of your money, all of your time, and you'll have nothing to show for it. If you make 10 small projects and you only invest as much as you need to, you are getting 10 times the chance to be successful. So I, I, this was going to be another video, but I can't help it. I just had to rant on it. Please, Listen, man, for, that was for your a, own sanity, don't make MMOs, please. That was a top-notch <laughs> Jason rant. That was incredible. You know, it's Pete Jason rant right there. 
<laughs> Listening to you rant just now made me think I need to do I need to cut this stream up into clips because I think that could be its own <laughs> clip. Why? And I'm going to title it "Why You Shouldn't Create an MMO in Unity or an MMO well, in General." <laughs> well, well, I've had that one building up for a while. I've, I've needed to say that because I get I get asked that question a lot, and I know it's coming from a good place. People are asking, "I want to make an MMO. I love MMOs. I should make one." And I 100% applaud your optimism. That's a fun project, and it'd be cool to do. But you, you'll be much happier if you have a successful small game than you will having a partially finished, unsuccessful MMO that you've been working on for six years. And I hate to say it to everyone who's saying to me, I'm making an MMO. I've heard that conversation 10 times a month for the last two years. Everyone is apparently is making MMOs when it's their first projects. And do you know how many of them I still hear from? Do you know how many MMOs I've played from these people? Zero. <laughs> There's a couple of them that are a couple of them are halfway through and they put a lot of work into it, but it's just not going to work. Like just for your own sanity, take a deep breath and realize, do you play one man MMOs? No. So, you know, don't try to make one that you wouldn't play it yourself. So. It almost seems like the best way to position yourself to make an MMO is either obviously already have a huge amount of capital and a huge company of, of people who can get together and you, you know that they can develop something or maybe like you can do what Star Citizen did is just make a really, really badass vertical slice, share it and get a whole bunch of money off of Kickstarter. And then even them, they didn't even, they haven't even no, made they, a they, successful. They're currently not successful. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> and, and the thing is, right, if we even dial this back from MMOs, right, my advice to people who are making games in general, don't make a game for your first project. What you should do instead is you can do things like uh, level design. I think mm. most people, most people who professionally are level designers or are professionally game designers, they started by modding existing games. Learn mm -hmm. how to make a Minecraft mod, learn how to make a Skyrim mod, learn how to even just even just open up Portal 2 and use their really cool level creator and create custom puzzles and, and things in there. Or uh, in my case, it was Tony Hawk. I used to make a ton of Tony Hawk's levels and try to organize really cool layouts and stuff and study how games are made. Um, Mario Maker is a fantastic example. You learn so much about game development just by learning how to do good levels in Mario Maker. So you don't start by building the end result in anything. It's not just MMOs. MMOs just seems like the most outlandish example to me. But no matter what it is you're doing, dip your toe in and learn how to do it by using tools that are out there. Like I, I used to laugh when I was younger at Game Maker. Like game Maker is for children. Nobody could really make a real game with Game Maker. There are a lot of really commercial, high quality games out there made in Game Maker. Some of them <laughs> I really like. Like it's, it's, you don't, you don't, you don't realize how it's much more valuable to be able to make something good and finished, but simple, than it is trying to make something big and complex because it'll fail. So honestly, just pick something small and just do it and do it well. Like make your make your goal to be the best ever breakout clone you could make make the best tetris or snake ripoff you could ever do add all the cool features you want add all the cool particles learn how to make swishy animations that project is 10 times more valuable to you than making a partial mmo with janky features so. well that was a great rant i think that's a great place to end this <laughs> yeah i think so it's like because i'll be here all day if you keep talking about this topic so. <laughs> let's let's stop him before <laughs> we're here all day uh thank you everyone for joining in uh just one last time reminder to uh hit that like button uh thanks again in and out for the super chat really appreciate the support um and again we're going to be doing this on a weekly basis so check in all right guys i'm gonna yeah. end the stream well you had something you want to say no, no, I was going to say, you can catch us up on the Discords. We're there if you ever want to chat or have any questions, and we'll see you next time. All right, see you next time.